Pretty and you were good? Yeah. Alright, welcome to round one. <laughs> 13 minutes late. People don't know how to... Uh, um, people, do, people don't know what their arena username is. They don't know how Discord works. And I don't know how Aether Hub Tournament works. So, here we are, 13 minutes late. Yep, and... Uh, round one for our Discord Magic Arena FNF. Uh, I actually am not recording. Oh, nice. An error occurred. Even better. So, yeah, an error occurred with the output. Out-of-date video drivers? Oh, really? <laughs> they just got updated the other day. So, uh, you want to you want to record the stream? I can't. Why can't you? Oh, ha. Yeah. It's mine. Because I don't have Streamlabs. So, because oh, you don't have anything open, yeah. Uh, okay. We're gonna... Oh, look at this. I kind of want to keep this. I'm gonna keep that. So, four lands. I got an Uro and three. Uh, jump me to, like, Massacre Girl or Casualties of War turn early. Um. Has lands to cast Uro. Snap keep. Right. Mono red should have known. Should have known. Let's see. Now I'm really wishing that I would have played uh, Clover, cause like, Tier Adventures, Tier Clover, whatever you want to call it, has like a great match against this. You should have known everyone would be on mono red. Right, Josh. I mean, Antonio. Not that I've looked at everyone's deck lists. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, dude, this is gonna be such a horrible night. <laughs> oh, Amy, oh, have, welcome. You don't have chat going, do you? But Amy's in chat. <laughs> yeah, I have chat over here. Welcome. Yes, Saltai decided to pick this one tonight for you. That's why. Uh, all right. Let's see here. Yeah, salty AF. No, that's salt I. Oh, salt I. I just I just missed Man. the Hey, it's super it's super tiny over there. I thought it said salty AF. Dude. Man, this is so bad. Like nobody knows how to do a direct challenge or how to use Discord. Okay. So <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What's happening, Amy? How how are how is your evening going? All right, let's see if this works. You ready? I hope it doesn't crash, Arena. <laughs> it probably will because you're also uh, screen sharing. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, this is our um, Discord Arena F and M attempt, and we started like 13 minutes late, and not <laughs> everybody's actually started the matches because. Nobody knows how this works. All right, he has one. Done it before. His one card left. Let's. Yeah, that's a good idea, Josh. We should make a tutorial video. Yep. So, I'm going to get rid of the annex. Uh. Quarantine life. That's right. Do I want that temple of mystery? That's why we're uh, trying to do. I could leave that in the library. Um, that's tapped. I don't want to die to something hasty here is really bizarre because i've got you on discord here and the stream here so there's like a five second delay oh yeah i had to like turn the stream off um so all right i'm gonna leave that there because i'm gonna probably need can i nissa plus i can so if i nissa all right got him there that, that did it nissa plus Untap forest, attack Masker Girl forest, Ooh. play Uro, boom. Exploding, oh, exploding head time. Exploding head time. All right, uh, mono red, love struck beast. We were talking about this earlier. Uh, Matt and I were talking about this earlier. Uh, love struck beast does a great job. Uh, I don't think I really want Aether Gust. It doesn't do that great a job, but Disfigure does. Disfigure's um, okay, I think. Aether Gust does hit Ember Cleave. Um, but it just buys you time. Yeah, I think it, that's the problem. Is is it's just putting it back on top. Like, what does it do? It buys you a turn. Um, yeah. I think you're more apt to like you leaving the tyrant scorn. I don't know if I want thought erasures here. Uh, I think it might be too slow. 
Yeah, they're just okay. Atris uh, is probably too slow also. Yeah, I don't think Atris is good. Uh, I actually do like the Eat because he's probably running Annex. I, 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 if you didn't catch it, I actually, I got to Eat an Annex. So I, I Massacre oh. Girl the first one and killed all the yeah, tokens too. Yeah, I'm over here on Discord trying to <laughs> yeah. get everyone going. Which and is then, also uh, why I'm not playing. Um, so I think I want that. I want the, I want the two Enter the God Eternals. I need to cut five cards. I think maybe I don't maybe want the enters. Two. Yeah. Two at most. They're just really slow. Um. So I think the thought erasers are coming out here. That puts us at sixty. Um. I don't think there's much better choices. Disfigure for early interruption. Keep the tyrant scorns for. Honestly, know. I, I would probably leave in three of the thought erasers and pull out your six drops. You think so? Oh, uh, I mean, that might not like be a bad idea. Can hit the the ember cleaves, but other than that, like it's just really slow removal, and you're yeah. gonna get a mountain and a creature. Yeah. So leaving three thought erasures. Yeah, I think that's fine. You gotta, you gotta you submit that. For, yeah, I guess you could argue like one Liliana in exchange for a thought erasure there, but I think she's too slow. Yeah, the only thing I like for Liliana is, and I guess I'm on the draw, right? Uh, yeah, you are, because you somehow won game one. Yeah, I know. I was not expecting that at all. Uh, and I guess I do. I need to. Should I move the Liberty MTG tag? I guess is a question. Um, I think it'd be fine above your webcam, but it's also fine where it is. It doesn't matter. So if I put it, like, there, that should be out of the way. Mm -hmm. uh, it might cover up the stack a little bit, but that's not a big deal. Yeah, I think it's better to have it. No one drop. <laughs> well. Um, let's temple. Yeah, that's getting killed on site. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, like, one of the reasons that those are in there, right? Kill everything small with that. I do need to leave a... Uh, an X one though, right? What's this thing? It's two zero as long as it's attacking. Perfect. Yeah, swings for three, but yeah, you can kill that with massacre girl. Yeah. I leave the disfigure so like end of turn I can. Well, if he plays a different X one, you can kill that with disfigure. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I leave the disfigure to see what he plays. I'm kind of surprised he put that in. I think he didn't realize you're playing salt i mean he saw the massacre girl though yeah but like pro white right what is that claim the firstborn so this hydra crisis man so he's passing on two so so he's got what annex just don't do anything yeah he probably has a cleave or two annex maybe a land <sighs> and yeah like once you get rid of the claim next turn then i think i kind of want to like crisis for two here he just takes it though yeah but he doesn't have a sack out of it or anything i get it back so i lose one life but i get to gain a card i'm drawing lands now yeah okay so he like and he spends that so unless he has land and x um and like earl's a pretty good pretty good draw um it's uh, if you were playing the like racto sacrifice outlet then or racto sacrifice deck yeah i could see not playing claim yeah okay so then that's perfectly fine yeah i guess the argument too is like if he spends the mana to take it with the claim yeah and he's not at this point then like he's not playing a four drop or keeps him off the mana yeah he's like he can't Yeah, and I'm like, ugh. So, we're gonna do this. I think, I don't know if I want to Uro, I don't have a second black source. Uh, one, two, three, four, because if he, I kind of just want to play this tapped. And I kind of want to disfigure the Unchained Berserker, but... You have to, yeah. The thing is, like... I mean, you're, 
still at a healthy life total. Right now, yeah. I mean, so like if even if you kill the berserker, he can still cleave a token, which I guess doesn't do that much. But well, that's what I'm afraid of. Is just like him cleaving. So even if he flashes in the cleave, like if he goes to target the unchained berserker, right? Then it doesn't matter. Although here, this is where this is just. And then this is where... So Massacre Girl will be really good. It'll wave the board Scorch Spitter plus Annex. Yeah, and then um, they'll be left with two tokens. Yep. No, they won't. Wait, a Massacre Girl cleans with tokens. Wait, wait, wait. Doesn't kill Annex. Yeah, it does. Oh, trigger, yep. Yeah, yeah, the triggers go in the stack, and then it results in yep. then the Massacre Girl results. So, Sorry, I wasn't thinking about that. Yeah, it was the same thing I did in game one. Uh, that's how I dealt with the first Annex. It's really good there. Yeah, I, I forgot that they're just triggers for every one of her stacks, if you want to call it that. Yeah. Well, I'll just not take one. I mean, there's no point in taking one, correct? <laughs> right, he's out of cards, so. Yeah. Um. How many are in your graveyard? Because I can't see. Uh, four. Four, that includes this Uro. So, three that I can use. So... Yeah. So it's you thought erasure. Oh, he doesn't have any cards. He doesn't have any cards, no. Yeah. Um. May as well cycle. Yeah. And then. Cool. So we've got one match result in. Star Killer, who I don't actually know who that is, beat Josh two to zero. So I can't actually get E2 Extinction mana, right? Because Watery Grave only taps for one. What? Um, I was going to, oh. if I get to four, but E2, Great Watery Grave taps for one. You don't have a two? What's that? No, Watery Grave is the only untapped land. It's four. Oh, so, I gotcha. So I, gotcha. I, only, I only have three. Half your lands are covered up. I know, I know, I noticed that. <laughs> Um, my game one mauled the five and still only had one land. Josh quit playing like me. So I think I'm doing this. Which I think is fine. Yeah. Uh, the repeatable Chandra effect really hurts. Um, so five. I don't. I think you've pretty much gotten this game at this point. Three. I think I'm, I'm close. Yeah. The Yeah, there you go. All right. Must have drawn a land. So cool. 